Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Phone them, phone them mess, how you feeling, man? But look, let me get to what the topic we got in hand today. So we all knew Trenches News was a paid informant. He was snitching on the whole um, FBG duck case. And I did a video saying that his handler in the, from the FBI was also the person investigating the uh, No Limit situation that they got going on. And Trenches News, he DM'd me and he denied that, but he didn't deny this part. And... um. It kind of make a lot of sense now once you read the paperwork that it came out. Um, we already know he identified everybody involved in this case. But now this this is coming from the Chicago Tribune. Like if you go to the Chicago Tribune, the Chicago Tribune, they fucking identify him. Like if he's a paid informant, how do y'all get on y'all platform, which is an actual media outlet, not YouTube, and say that one of the snitches has a YouTube channel? So let me break it down. Um, it says, but recently, M.W., which is Marcellus, that's, that's um, Trenches News' real name, has posted YouTube videos claiming he couldn't identify any of the shooters. Defense attorneys have asked his testimony be barred. In response, Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Julian said the witness stood by his sworn grand jury statements, which were under oath and recently told investigators he posted his YouTube videos to earn money and some, den- some deniability on the streets while cooperating with law enforcement is punishable by death. Wow. They pretty much just, even if we was left in the dark and even though we know he a snitch, if you was on the fences about believing it, Chicago Tribune just confirmed that shit. That's that's shocking to me. Um, That, you know, in a lot of these instances, people snitch to try to, you know, keep it under the rug and be able to come home and see their family, but, and they get paid to do it. But a lot of these snitches aren't even protected by the people that's, uh, like, that's, paying them to snitch. You get what I'm saying? It's weird to me. And all I want to know is, when this shit said and done, who was everybody involved in this situation? Because there's other snitches that we don't know about that's going to come out. Um, but the fact that Trenches News did this, is still shocking to me. Because like, how could you be a paid informant and turn around and go to YouTube? You snitching twice, and you getting paid for both of them. I get it, but like, there's no type of morals or values that you hold yourself to. It's shocking. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.